Hello and welcome back. In this video I'd like to show you the third option, which also allows us to run open source large language models completely free, also private, locally and also in an interface without any code. Remember this is a low code to no code course, so also at the beginning we downloaded GPT for all and that's the software solution which we're gonna explore now. We already have seen that with uh, LM Studio we have a nice little interface which we can use in order to run uh, open source models like Llama 3 and other ones. Now in this case this is what the user interface currently looks like for GPT for all. Could be different depending on when you watch the video but if you download it you should get actually something which is kind of similar to this one probably. Now when you get started of course at the beginning you don't have any model. This is why you can see already here when you open the software that there's an option to click on download models. The other option would be to go to downloads here at the bottom left directly. But if I click on one of these, let me click on this one, click on it, and then you see that there are all the models you can currently download, which are available on uh, GPT for all. And the first one, of course, here is Llama 3. Instruct this model here, currently at least, and then there are other models here as well, like for instance this new Hammers, Mistral model, and other ones. You also see here, same as before, what are the requirements for the model. So the file size, how much RAM is required, uh, the amount of parameters of the model, and what kind of quantization is, was used right, to shrink the model size, and also what kind of type of model it is, as you can see here. So these are the uh, things you can see here directly. Um, you can also see that you would be able to use ChatGPT, so GPT-4 and 3.5, but if you want to use those, you would have to enter your API key here. And this, of course, would also mean that it is not completely private anymore because um, the API endpoint is on the internet. So that's just to mention that. But for the open source models, like uh, here, Llama 3, for instance, and also this one here, this can be uh, used completely locally without any internet connection. You also see that, uh, that I already downloaded the model, which is this one. That's why I can click remove to uh, delete it if I want. Otherwise, of course, if you want to get started with it and you don't have downloaded any model yet, just click on the download option here. You also see that the download path here is specified here. This is where the models are stored. So again, it's different from where the models of LM Studio, for instance, are stored and also different from where the models of Olama are stored. So you don't have to use all three software solutions. It was just an idea to show all of them to you in the course. But of course, you can choose what kind of model or solution you want to use, right? Depending on your requirements. But um, the idea is that you download the specific model you want. You can also search by keyword up here. Or you can scroll down and search for, if you go to show more models, you could find many more models which you can download, theoretically. So this would be one option. Uh, let me just close it for now. The other option, if you go to downloads here, you also find exactly the same pop-up window. We can also specify which of the models you want to download. So just download the model. I already did this here using this new Hermes Mistral model in this case. So this time I'm choosing a different model to give this a try. And as soon as you've done this, you just need to actually start a chat. So you can say um, here, if you go to new chat, which currently is already selected, and you also choose up here the models you've downloaded. If you have more models, you can of course choose the specific one. I only have one model in GPT for all currently, so I can click on the new Hermes model. So now the model gets loaded. Now it's loaded, and now I can send a message. So I can go in here and ask my question. So what is the capital? off and then say again I'm using Germany question mark and then answer in one sentence that is my question and then I can run it press enter or press here this button and then you see that the capital of Germany is Berlin so it was quite fast it was an easy question of course but you see that this is the way how you can chat with it and then of course you can also regenerate the response if you say I don't like the response or something went wrong um, or you can also of course ask additional questions here if you want to do that. You can also always check for updates. So the software, of course, also gets updated regularly. It's an open source software, but it's, um, well, updated by the community. So just uh, make sure that you are always up to date because this also ensures that you can see the latest models in, in the solution, right? If you want to download and you don't find the latest models, that probably it might make sense to check whether there are updates in here for the software solution. Okay, so uh, that's it actually for using um, GPT for all. So you see, it's quite easy to use. So nothing really complicated, no code solution. Um, and it also has an additional uh, option additional option to also use vector stores. So we haven't covered this in the course. 
is also maybe uh, interesting to you, then let me know. I can add additional bonus videos to the course. Uh, but the idea is that if you want to chat with your own data, this is also something which is included in GPT for All. By simply clicking on the database icon here, if I click on this one, I can create a vector store. So it's just, and let me just uh, go in here. So I'll add and remove. And here, then I'm in here, and here I could specify the documents. So I can upload PDF files if I want, and then I can chat with these PDF files. So it's just an extension, also available. I just want to mention it, but as I said, if you're interested, let me know. And of course, I can create additional videos in the future for that. Otherwise, of course, also feel free to check it out yourself. So that's an introduction to this solution here. So hopefully you've seen that there are various uh, solutions out there which allow us to run even with low code, so a little bit of Python, or with no code, like we've seen here, and with LM Studio, open source models completely free on our own hardware, also private, and uh, that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please give it a try and also decide which of the softwares you like the most. Also feel free to share it with me. I'm also interested. And also if you try different models and let me know about the results. I'm always interested. Thanks a lot for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.